today, but I've got an uncasing. Uh, I've got a new guitar that uh, I thought I'd share with you all. And uh, my good friend Todd Cook was in Melbourne recently and he was able to pick this up for me and dropped it off the other day. And um, on the Tuesday, I think. Anyway, it's been a big week and um, yeah, this is what tired looks like. <laughs> so anyway, I haven't had a chance till now uh, to have a look at this guitar really. <coughs> so I thought I'd share it with you as I check it out. So um, what is it? It's something cool. So I'll open it up and get straight into it. Ba -da -da. There we go. Jim Beam 335 style hollow body electric. Devil's cut. Oh yeah. song associated with Jim Beam so I'm not going to try and sing something stupid as I normally would. Anyway, straight into it, eh? We'll plug her in, see how she sounds. Ugh. It's in, uh, it's in drop D tune and we'll go with that. Uh, I don't think it's great at staying in tune. It's more of a display guitar, but uh, very <laughs> bent, wobbly neck. So, um, Sounds alright. Um, I've turned the amp down a little bit this time. I think it's been too loud in other videos because I'm just going with the camera audio. I'm not using microphones or anything. It's just as it is. Nice and raw. I'll show you a cool little uh, pedal. It's a uh, I don't know how it's pronounced, Joyo, J-O-Y-O, um, or Joyo. Uh, this is a DC pedal, which is just an awesome delay pedal with this cool feature of a reverse kind of suck back effect that's pretty random.
lost in that sound forever. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Like I think the action's a bit high, so it's not playing, not feeling great, but that can be fixed. So they're probably, um, like I'll measure the pickups at some stage, but I'm guessing around four or five ohms, like not, not high uh, output pickups at all. So it's, it's handling that range of gain very well. <laughs> say about eight months ago and um, grabbed it because it's a Cole Clark Mistress electric guitar and I knew they were pretty rare but didn't realize how rare they were until I researched them sort of semi recently and um, so I'll grab it because it's sitting here and this is it so hopefully you can see it there um, I got it for a great price because it's been refinished and it's not the greatest job so I will redo the finish myself I think at some stage and see how it goes but um yeah but I jumped on this when I saw it for sale on marketplace because I've seen Dave Grohl using one I've seen Josh Homme using one um, and thought, well, hell yeah, it's good enough for those guys, good enough for me. And um, so anyway, researching it recently, Adam Cole from Cole Clark Guitars made himself a custom one as well, but there's only 174 that have been produced, apparently, according to Adam. And um, I had no idea it was that rare when I bought it, so uh, I'm stoked with that. Happy to be in the uh, Cole Clark Mistress Club. And um, yeah, that's even got a push-pull uh, pots there, 
And so anyway, we'll plug this in. It's solid. <laughs> it is heavy. And it is awesome. Right.
guitar and uh, the Cole Clark Mistress. Um, not sure where it cut out. I only started playing the Cole Clark at some point. It cut out during that, so uh, we got what we got, and uh, hopefully you got to hear it and it sounds all right. <laughs> so I'll wrap it up there, piece the video together. Um, I've got one more guitar on order that I'll be showing you guys soon when it arrives, and. Um, I can't promise, but I'm going to try and have a break from buying guitars for a little while and uh, might just review some of the others in the collection and uh, demo them for you. But um, no promises, there's a lot of beautiful guitars out there and um, I need one of everything, so you know, because you can. Alright, thanks for joining me, guys. Hope you're well. Keep strumming and uh, see you soon. Thanks, bye.